Salut salut from France! Today I have selected 10 of my favorite movies, French movies obviously, that you need to watch. Not all of them, you don't have to watch all of them of course, but I have divided them into four categories. So comedy, romantic comedy, drama, and action slash thriller. And I really think you have to look at some of those and you might really enjoy them. So the first category I'm going to go through is comedy. Every time I'm going to talk about a movie, I'm going to um, read you the synopsis. I don't know how you call that in English. It's basically what it is about. I'm not going to spoil anything about the movie and you will be also able to find the trailers of each one of those movies in the description. And just so you know, some of them are only available in French and some of them you might be able to find them in English or in your language. Let's get started. The first movie is a very old one. Uh, it's called Les Visiteurs. This one is a childhood movie. It is very funny. It's an oldie. It is from 1993. Three, and there are a few uh, visiteurs now. There are I think three or four or even more, but this is the first one. In the year 1123, the Count of Montmirail and his faithful squire Jacouille Lafripouille find themselves propelled into the year 1992 after having drunk a magic potion made by the enchanter which is supposed to allow them to get rid of the terrible spell. And in France, there is a lot of sarcasm in movies. And what is also funny in French comedies are the situations the character are going through. So this one is very funny because they're in very weird situations because they come from very other time period and they end up in the future. So it is very, it is a very good one. Then we have Les Bronzés Trois, Amis pour la vie, Friends for Life. Uh, you don't have to watch the first movies in order to understand this one and I haven't watched them either. This movie is about six characters, Popeye, Gigi, Jérôme, Bernard, Nathalie and Jean-Claude who call themselves Les Bronzés. So Les Bronzés in French translates as people who are tanned. For a few years have been meeting every summer for a week at the Prunus Resort a luxury seaside hotel which Pepe manages more or less well and which belongs to his wife, a heiress of one of the biggest Italian fortunes. A lot of drama happens to each one of them which makes their holidays memorable. That one is hilarious. Third movie, Les Touches. So that one is a special one. My boyfriend said I shouldn't put it there but I think it's funny because they're taking a very northern French accent which in French was funny because we understand the context. I'm not really sure that English voiceover is well made. The best is to listen to it in French with English subtitles. So Les Touches, it is about a family who lives in Bouzol, which is a fictive city. So Jeff, Cathy and their three children live paycheck to paycheck. Respectful to the Touche philosophy, which is men are not made for working, the whole family strives to be happy despite the cruel lack of income. Their lives were all mapped out. They would always be poor, but always be happy. But an upheaval will jeopardize this fragile balance. The Tush will become rich, very rich. They won 100 million euros at the lottery and that will change everything. If you're going to change your life, you might as well change your place. What could be more logical than to move to Monaco, where Cathy has always dreamt of living? They will have to accept, integrate into their new homes, tender habits without changing their feelings. That one is very funny but if I were you I would listen to it in French because their original voices are amazing and their characters are very interesting if I can say. Then we have Super Condriac with Danny Boone, Cadmirade and Ospol, which are three very amazing French actors. This one, it is about Romain Faubert, a lovely man who at nearly 40 has neither wife nor children. His job as a photographer for an online medical dictionary does not help with the sickly hypochondria that guided his life for far too long and made him a neurotic coward. His only real friend is his doctor, Dr. Dimitri Zvenska, who at first was wrong to take a liking to him, which he now bitterly regrets. The imaginary patient was difficult to manage and Dimitri would give anything to get rid of him for good. He 
invites him to parties at his house, registers him for a dating site, forces him to do sports, even coaches him on how to seduce and behave with women. But discovering the rare pearl who will be able to support him and who for love will lead him to finally overcome his hypochondria proves to be more difficult than expected. That one is hilarious. Danny Boone is such a great actor. You will at 100% laugh your ass off if you watch this movie. It is amazing. Now on to the action slash thriller. So I only have one movie selected here. It's called Wasabi with Jean Renault, which is also a very famous French actor. So this movie is about a solitary cop with a big heart but sometimes rough methods, Inspector Hubert finds himself on forced vacation after beating up the governor's son. One day he receives a phone call from a notary who tells him that Miko, the woman in his life who disappeared 20 years ago, has just died in strange circumstances. As the sole legatee or legacy of his will, Hubert arrives in Japan, welcomed by his former partner to discover what he has inherited. I cannot really say more without spoiling, but it is an interesting movie as well. Now onto the drama. Let's start with Léon, which is also an amazing movie of Luc Besson, uh, a French réalisateur, and the main actor is still Jean Renault. This movie will at 100% make you feel so many different emotions through the entire movie as the story unfolds, and I had goosebumps while watching this movie, and it doesn't happen with a lot of movies. And this is about a hitman by the name of Léon, who takes Matilda, a 12-year-old girl, the only survivor of her family's massacre, under his wing. Soon Leon will turn Matilda into a cleaner like him and Matilda will be able to avenge her little brother. Jeu d'enfant. So that one is super cool. I love Marion Cotillard as an actress and Guillaume Canet. So this one is about a lifetime of saying I love you. It's about a game that two kids play from their childhood. So Sophie and Julien have invented this game where basically at any time they can ask the other person cap ou pas cap, which means do you dare or not? And they usually can't say pack up and they do crazy things and that game is played throughout their whole lives and it takes them I think 80 years to say I love you to each other. They defy all the taboos, all the prohibitions, all the authorities. They laugh and they also hurt themselves. This movie is beautiful. It takes place in their entire lifetime and you see how this game evolves, how their friendship evolves and maybe how they will evolve in a romantic way. Maybe. They're very touching in this movie. Artu Chabre. I think that one is famous all over the world now with their two actors François Cluzet and Omar Sy and I have met François Cluzet when I was walking once in Lyon and he's so humble and so nice in person I have to say. So after a paragliding accident Philippe, a rich aristocrat, hires Ries, a young man from the suburbs who has just been released from prison as his home help. In short, the least suitable person for the job. Together they will create such a strong friendship. The two worlds will collide, tame each other to give birth to this beautiful, crazy, funny, strong and unexpected friendship that will make sparks fly and make them intouchable, which means untouchable or unbreakable. That one is beautiful. I cried every time I watched this movie. Now onto the romantic comedy. If you have sticked until the end of the video to hear my thoughts on those movies, it is probably that you love romantic comedies as I do. So I have selected a few of them. The first one is L'Arnaqueur and this is so funny. Is your daughter dating a bad guy? Your sister is stuck in a destructive, passionate relationship? Today there is a radical solution. His name is Alex. His job, professional couple breaker. His method, seduction. His mission, to turn any boyfriend into an ex. But Alex has ethics. He only attacks couples whose wife is unhappy. So why would he agree to break up a blossoming couple of a rich 30 year old woman? And that's all about that. And it's very funny. It is very funny. Un plan parfait with Danny Boone again, the man who played in Super Condriac earlier, uh, and Jan Kruger. This one is very funny as well and very romantic as well. Uh, to get around the curse that wipes out all the first marriages in her family, Isabelle has a strategy for marrying the man she loves. 
find a sucker, seduce him, marry him and divorce him. A perfect plan if the target was not the infernal Jean-Yves Bétier. A writer for a tourist guide whom she will follow from Kilimanjaro to Moscow. A nuptial journey for the best and especially for the worst. Yeah, you have to watch this one as well. And the last one is Josephine. There are actually two movies now. This is the first one and if you like this one I also recommend you to watch the second one. It is very very cool as well. So this one is about Josephine, 29 years old and three quarters of the way through. Obsessed with the size of her buttocks, the source of all her problems, still hasn't found the man of her dreams. A non-smoking good cook who loves cats and wants a lot of children. Her only consolation is that she lives with Brad Pitt. A short-lived consolation since it's her cat. When her sister announces her marriage, it is the drop of water that makes the coffee cup overflow. She invents a love story with this rich Brazilian surgeon who asks her in marriage and takes her to live at the end of the world. Easy to say, but very hard to put in place since it's a very big lie. And then she has to basically go through this whole lie that she said to her family and a lot of things happen after she lied at this family dinner and it is very funny. So this is my little 10 movie selection for you guys. I hope you might watch a few of those and let me know the ones you have already watched if you know some of those and if you enjoy them or if you're going to watch some of those. I hope you got some inspiration here and I'll try to link as many movies as I can in the description below as well as the trailer of those movies. So go check it out, subscribe to my channel, put a little like if you want more videos in this kind of style because this is very new. I didn't know if you would be interested to hear about French movies or not but I really enjoyed filming it and going through my list of favorites. So I will see you soon and take care. Salut.